So did you wash out in the Banklin today? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What was that? Oh, I said, did you wash out in the Banklin today? Uh, wait. Can you say that one more time? Yeah, I said, did you wash out in the Banklin today? Sorry, I, um, just one more time. I, I'm, I'm not hearing the last part. Can you just? I said the Banklin. Did you wash the Banklin today? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, we did that yesterday. Wait, you did what? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, one more time. Then. Did you wash it in the bank um, today? Are you talking about the the bank or the bank? No, wait. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I just can you just say it one more time? Did you wash it in the bank today? What are you saying? Yes, you had a question. When are we gonna get our papers back? No, I'm sorry. No, that's not. I, I'm not answering that question. Please. You know what? I need you to take a break. Please go sit over there and take a break. Thank you. In fact, I need you to drop your pencils and put your eyes on me. Please do not ask me what you got on your assignment. There is one of me and there are 25 of you. And I also have four other classes worth of papers to grade, which means I am not going to prioritize you or your class just because you are in a rush to get your grade back. Okay, when I go home, I have a ton of stuff I have to go through. Okay, and sometimes I can't get to your papers. You will get your papers back when they are on your desk in front of you with a grade on them, and then you will know the grade. But until then, do not ask me what your grade is. Do not ask me what your grade is. Moving on, let's talk about the fact that half of you did not do the homework assignment last night. What were you doing that is unacceptable? You got an 86 on your history exam? Yeah. So what you're telling me is you just don't care about your future? I did the best I could. Okay, well your brother just got a 96 on his math exam, so I don't understand the excuse. So Because he's in remedial math. Uh, theater arts mathematics is not remedial. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're not blaming your brother because you can't get your life in order. I have all A's. And your brother has all A's too, but he also does ambidextrous club, juggling club, spy club, and he keeps it together. So? So? <laughs> Maybe you should try to be a little bit more like him. He just got charged with a DUI. Mom, she's making me feel bad about myself again. Why do you always have to do this? Me? We're just having a discussion. There's no need to get this emotional, okay? Defending myself is not emotional. Oh, okay. Is your life really that miserable? Whatever. Wait, where are you going? You don't want to spend time with us? Honey, have you seen... What was that? No, 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 no. What was that? Yeah, roll up your sleeve. Roll it up. Samantha Nicole, what is on it's your left arm? It's just a tattoo, arm? see? Is it fake? Does your father know? Does it come off? No. I want you to go try. Go, go in Mom, the shower. it's not gonna come no, off. Just try. You just threw your whole life down the drain. Down the drain. Real nice. What am I supposed to tell grandma? What money did you use to pay for that? The allowance that I give you? Cause that's not what this is for. Do you expect people to want to hire you when your body looks like that? I, I don't, I don't understand. Are you not happy? What are you gonna do when your skin gets all wrinkly and old? It's just gonna look disgusting. Is this the manic bipolar thing? We'll talk about this later, okay? How did you, uh, did you, uh, where did you go, where did you get that? I'm embarrassed to be seen with you. What about your hand tattoo? This is, this is not, I thought I gave you a good life, but apparently not. Hey mom, can I show you something? What do you want to show me? It's what? just this really funny video on my phone. <sighs> well, I, I was about to go to bed. Okay, uh, well, hold on, let me find my glasses. I think I left them on the bed. I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were in my pocket. Okay, what, what do you want to show me? What is this? Is this that clip talk app? What's going on? Wait, who, is this your friend? What is she? Oh, wait, I don't understand. What? Wait, who is this? Do you know them? Is that your teacher? It's James Charles. Oh, why are you following this, this man? <gasps> What did I click on? Hold on. <laughs> what? Oh, what is this? When did you take this photo? I don't know how I got here. Samantha, who is this texting you? Excuse me, I pay for this phone, okay? You don't get to just snatch it out of my hands. It makes me think that you're hiding something. <gasps> Why do you swear so much? Oh, okay, okay, you know what? That's it. No, I'm not paying for this unlimited texting if you are gonna have such a vulgar mouth. Steve, do you know what she's doing? Come look at this. It's disgusting. Look, look what she's saying. Why are all your friends calling you a bad bitch? I knew that that phone was a problem. I knew we shouldn't have gotten her that phone. Hi there, can I take your order? Um, yeah, just hold on. Okay. Hey babies, it's me, Kenzie K, and I am at the new hot spot in town. I'm about to try the Coffee Beans new cookie mint frappuccino to see if it's anything like Starby. Remember to like this video and to leave a comment if you want me to follow you back. Okay, bye babies. <laughs> Hi, um, can I get the, the mint thing? Of course, uh, which one? Yeah, the mint cookie thing. Oh, no, no, can you use that red cup, the one with the this holiday? One? Yeah, that one right there. I just, it'll look better on my Instagram. And can you add, like, the little sprinkles with the cinnamon on top? Okay, here you go. Oh, okay, let me just get a few pictures of it. Okay, can you spin it so I can see the label? Yes. 
Okay, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Wait, that'll be five dollars. Oh no, no, I'm gonna upload the picture to Instagram so you guys get way more business. You'll actually get way more money from me just posting about it. So I mean, I'm kind of big around here. I'm surprised you haven't heard of me. I know you guys are new and everything, so you'll learn. But yeah, I can really help you guys out. Just don't make me angry or else. If you ever touch me again, I will literally end you. Shut the up. one thing I asked you not to do is touch my hairbrush. And the one thing I saw you doing this morning was touching my hairbrush. So don't Ow, do stop. it again. Wow. Don't really, touch me. You're so mature touching me. That's so Ow. annoying. Stop. Just get really? out of my room. Ow. No, 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 no. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I was bleeding. Get mom. No, no, no. We don't need to go home. I'll get, I'll get you a band-aid. I'll get you whatever you need. You're really you okay. Broke it my doesn't face. even look like that bad. Um, hold on. I'll get you. I'll, I'll get, I brought you the hairbrush. You can have it. No. It. It's really not the big of a deal. No, I don't Just take want it. it. You can have it. Look, look what I brought you. No. Fruit loops. I will literally pour them in your mouth. No, I don't so you'll want be fine. it. No. Is someone crying? No, it's okay. Yes. It's fine, mom. It's okay. It, mom, we're just playing me. the game. It's fine. Just oh, and do you guys offer a veteran discount? Yes, we do. Do you have your ID? ID? Oh, no, you know, I left it on my Xbox. Wait, no, 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 it, it should be like a like a physical card. Yeah, they're just not handing out like physical IDs. It's just like a whole thing. Really? That's odd. They usually hand out IDs. Hmm, well, I served MF2GC, so I'm a veteran. I'm not familiar with that one. Yeah, the Modern Warfare 2 global campaign. Oh, so you haven't actually served in our US military. Well, that's a little offensive. Uh-huh, sorry about that. I just want to clarify, though, that this discount is for those that have actually served in the military with a military ID. Hold on, hold on. I have photo evidence. Ma'am, if you show me screenshots from your Xbox screen, I... See? This is me in uniform. This is me in combat. Mm, yeah, you, you died in that one. <laughs> it's a crazy war. So, about that discount. I quit. Ugh. Oh, I think that's actually my bag. Oh! And is there a reason your bag is in the first class compartment? Yes, because I'm sitting here. I can tell by experience that this is not a first class bag. And I didn't see you walk up when they called priority. I don't care what you saw. I need you to take your hand off my bag. Well, it is gigantic. It is taking up so much room. It's no bigger than anyone else's. You can scoot it over if you need to, but you can't just put it on the floor. It doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? I'm responding to your point. This, the whole reason we're talking about this is because of you. There's no need to get hostile. I'm an experienced flyer and I'm trying to help you. Calm down. I will calm down when you sit down and stop touching my things. I'm not touching your things. You're literally holding my bag. You know what? You want to be like that? Ow! Really? Which one of you just chucked a suitcase at a passenger? That would be her bag. That would be her throw. Perfect! Momentarily, we will be escorting you off the plane. Am I being upgraded to a private jet for my inconvenience? Yes, with big, bright, shiny blue lights on it. Let's go! Loser. <laughs> Attention Flyers, welcome to Atlanta. On behalf of the entire crew, I'd like to thank you for choosing Bahama Breeze Airlines today. Please be cautious when opening the overhead compartments as items may have shifted during the flight. Thank you for flying with us and have a wonderful time in Atlanta. Did you say Atlanta? Yes, that is correct. Well, how much longer until we get to Detroit? Uh, well, this aircraft is not going to Detroit. What? But I'm going to Detroit! Is it possible you have a connecting flight? Yeah, I'm on it. Well, if I could just see your ticket. I've already shown you my ticket. Right, for this flight. Yeah, this flight to Detroit. Looks like you have a connecting flight to Detroit that leaves in 20 minutes. Good, 20 minutes until you take off and take me to Detroit. Did you need assistance in finding the correct gate? Do you realize that my sister's getting married in like three hours and you put me in some, where are we, South Dakota? I need to go to Detroit. Well, in that case, I would highly recommend you find your connecting flight so you don't miss it. Oh, I'm not going to miss anything because I'm going to stay in this seat right here. And when you guys take off to Detroit, Michigan, I'll make it to my destination. If you're unable to depart this aircraft by yourself, I'd be happy to find someone who can assist you. Okay, well, don't think about telling me that I'm supposed to move that bag. I'm not touching that bag. My arm is so sore, I can't. Oh, let me assist you. Uh, uh, do not touch my bag. It does not move from that spot. Well, that sounds quite threatening. Don't even start this. I'm not a scary person. Hmm, well, I can be if you don't get your sad sack of ass off this plane. Hey, you ready for lunch? Yeah, cute necklace. Oh, um... <laughs> Totally forgot that was there. Yeah, no, that's just a secret special um, sacred necklace that my um, great aunt gave to me. So you ready? Weird, I just lost mine that looks just like that. Oh my gosh, that is so weird. I think I actually remember which one you're talking about. You lost that? Whoa, oh my gosh, that must be really heartbreaking. Well, I mean, you can see mine just like real quick. See, there it is. I just don't like to really bring it out because I don't want anything to happen to it because it is so special to me. Uh, I've had it about give or take, you know, around that 
kind of time. No, this is not yours. Why would I take this from you? You don't even have that good of a style. No offense or anything, but like I don't typically wear the things you wear. Okay, fine. You're being really weird about this. It's just a necklace with charms on it. Well, I mean, we probably just have like the really similar like preferences since we're friends, but like I picked all of these out. I mean, let's be honest. You always copy me. I'm starting to feel gaslit and I don't like it. Hi there. What can I do for you? I need to have a wedding. Well, that's exciting. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea on when you'd want your wedding to be? Um, yeah. Perfect. When were you thinking? Somewhere between eight. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant more of what time of year? The morning. Uh, great. So you're thinking morning. So like maybe a cooler weather, like the fall time? Saturday. Right. Uh, you know, let's start from the beginning and get some more info out of you. What's your name? No, thank you. What was that? Your name? What? Uh, what's the name of your significant other? Um, purple. Purple? The cake should be purple. Okay, you know, I'm actually kind of having some confusion here. So would you mind if I actually sent over a questionnaire and you can just fill it out that way? Sure, but at that time I won't be available, unfortunately. That's okay, you can just fill it out whenever you're available. When's the wedding? Ah, uh, well that is completely up to you, but I already sent the invitations. Oh, okay, so you kind of already have an idea of some of the details. It's already been planned. Thank you. Hello? Hello. What is happening? Have a nice day. Wanna go for a walk or something? I can't, I have to ice my foot. Didn't you already do that this morning? Yeah, I have to do it a few times a day and I can't put any pressure on it for 24 hours. I don't think your doctor discouraged you from exercising. It's just for today until my foot feels better. <laughs> he did not say that. Yes, he did. Sweetheart, that doesn't make any sense. I've never not put pressure on something because it hurts. Yeah, but you're constantly complaining about being in pain. Honey, I was there. He said you can start walking on it today. No, he... D you know what? I'm just gonna call. <laughs> okay. Thank you for calling the doctor's office. How can I help you? Hi, I was just wondering when the doctor said I could walk on my foot again. Sure, yeah. He said 24 hours. 24 hours? You rest up and stay off that foot. Honey, thank you. 24 hours. Well, that's not what I heard. They just confirmed. Well, when we were there, that's not what he said. Mom, everyone is on the same page except for you. That's what he said. Okay, well, I guess if you want to be lazy, you can stay here. They just told you. You know, sometimes it's okay to be wrong. Yeah, sometimes it is okay to be wrong. I just don't understand why you have to challenge me on everything. I... Whatever. That's what I thought. Hey, did you get the mail? Uh, excuse me? Hello? I'm asking you a question. Oh, hey mom. Oh, now you can hear me. Yeah, sorry, I had my headphones on. Well, why is the volume that loud that you can't even hear me? Cause I was in here by myself and no one was talking to me. Well, what if I had fallen and gotten hurt? You wouldn't have been able to hear me. Well, that didn't happen. So <laughs> what were we gonna ask me? You didn't hear me ask you? No, I had headphones on. What are you listening to? Music. Huh, why aren't you reading a book? Because I'm listening to music. Why can't you do something productive? Cause sometimes after being productive, I don't wanna be productive. So you're gonna answer my question? What question? Samantha, did you or did you not get the mail? Yeah, it's right in front of you. Well, I didn't see it. Mm. Well, apparently you didn't see my giant headphones either. That's it, give them to me. What? Come on, it is a privilege to wear headphones in the house and you've proven that you're not responsible, so give it. What? Hi there, welcome in. Oh, I'm good, thanks. Okay. Hey folks. Um, excuse me. Oh, hi. There is someone sitting at my table. What do you mean? I come here every Wednesday and I sit right there, but you put someone at my table. What? Did you have a reservation? I mean, it's it's like a known thing that I come every Wednesday and I sit right there, so... I'm sorry, I've never seen you before. So are you going to ask them to scoot over a table? No, we have plenty of open seats if you need a table, but I want that one. That one's not available, but I know a manager. Okay, maybe next time you should coordinate with them because I can't sit you there. Fine. We have open seats at the bar. Why would you even suggest that? Because you're just standing there staring at me. I'm waiting for my table. Okay, can you do it over there? No. Great. Hi folks, welcome in. Party of four? All right, right this way. Um, have I not been waiting here? I don't know what you're doing. Did you want a table? No. Hi, can I take your order? Um, yeah. Okay, go ahead with the order. Is this the place with barbecue sauce? Uh, yes, we have barbecue. No, thank you. O okay, just then let me know when you're ready to order. Okay. I'm ready. Great, what can I get you? I'll take the barbecue. Okay, uh, which barbecue item? The sauce. Okay, so you just want barbecue sauce? No. Okay, what else would you like to add to your order? 
a drink. Okay, which drink? I said two cheeseburgers. But, okay, did you want the drink? Just the two cheeseburgers. Okay, I got the cheeseburgers. Did you want the drink? Um, sorry, not today. Okay, will that complete your order? Should I come inside? No, you can just drive up to the window. When will it be available? You're at a drive-thru, you can just pull up and get it now. Unfortunately, I'm not available, so I can't. Okay, uh, what is that supposed to mean? <sighs> Do you take credit cards? Yes. Okay, no thank you, have a nice day. <sighs> Thought you were leaving. Hello. No, 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 no. I need a nurse immediately. What's going on? I'm having a peanut allergy attack. Oh, okay, follow me this way, right away. Thank you. <clears throat> You can have a seat right here. <clears throat> All right, can you take a deep breath in for me? <sighs> okay, everything sounds normal, so that's a good sign. <sighs> Great, thank goodness. So now that that's out of the way, can you look at my ankle? Why? Well, my husband accidentally backed over my foot with his tractor the other day, and now it really hurts. Okay, and, and, and when did you have the peanuts? Uh, you know, I think we resolved the peanut thing, so just don't just disregard that. So you're not having trouble breathing? Well, I'm having trouble accepting the fact that my foot really hurts. Ma'am, I need you to go back in the waiting room. What? You're already helping me. Yeah, well, that's when I thought you couldn't breathe. There's a lot of people out there with a hurt foot. Yeah, but mine really hurts. Not as much as it could. What is that supposed to mean? I'm not getting fired. I'm not getting fired. Do you know what you'd like to order? Yeah, can I do the tofu banana salad? And there's no meat in that, right? Okay, good, because I'm a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian, so I can't have anything with meat in it. Looks like your couch is made of leather. I'm sorry, I, I'd rather sit on the floor. I literally will only be envisioning like murdered cows and like blood everywhere. And I just, I, I can't, I'll just have an emotional breakdown. Okay, so. well my couch isn't leather. And weren't you just bragging about buying a leather backpack? Oh, well, I cannot believe you ordered a burger. That's just like, literally makes me sick to think about. No, I couldn't even have meat if I wanted to. At this point, my body will literally just like reject any meat product, just not gonna be able to handle it, so. I thought you had chicken tenders for lunch yesterday. Yeah, but I don't eat meat. Who are you talking to? Oh, just, just saying. Imagine if I just wanted to eat your dog. Hi, good morning, meat is murder. Like, have you even seen a slaughterhouse? Like, people just wanna eat pigs like they're not just like dogs, you know? How would you feel if I tried to eat you? Oh, and can I get a Caesar salad to go, please? Thank you. I thought you can't eat that. No, no, it's a Caesar salad, so. Yeah, it has anchovies in the dressing. No. Hey, why are you crying? What's going on? Jordan broke up with me for Leah. Are you serious? Okay, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Okay, well, I'm not just gonna let her get away with it. I just wanna talk to her. I'm not gonna put my hands on her. It's fine. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just get my taser. Oh, wow, you're so lucky. When my boyfriend broke up with me, it was so much more dramatic. We were like in the car and he dove out of the car, jumped onto a moving police car, and was like bucked off into this ditch and it was filled with like beetles and snakes. And mine was like way, way worse. I would never wish that on anybody. So you're really, really lucky that it was not that Dramatic. Oh, um, that sucks. I, I'm sorry. I don't really like to be involved. I, I don't like drama, but really you broke up like officially? Yes! Thank God. Seriously? Oh, I'm so sorry. He was such an asshole. You can do way better than him. It'll be fine. Yes! Stop! <laughs> sorry. <gasps> he did what? Do you want to come over after school? Do you need something to drink? You have to stay hydrated. I know you've been crying. I don't know what he was thinking. Do you want me to talk to his mother? No, it's seriously okay. You don't need to thank me. Do you want me to take you to get some ice cream? Yes. Okay, let's go. Sam, did you take the trash out? Uh, no, but I can do that right now. It's okay, I actually have a bunch of stuff I gotta throw away, so I'll deal with it. Okay. Sam! Yeah? Did you take the trash out? Uh, no, you said you were gonna do it. I never said that, but I thought you said it was okay because you still had something you had to throw away. That doesn't even make sense, you're just lazy. No, mom, you literally said that. No, I said to get off the couch and to take out this trash. No, I literally remember you saying that. <laughs> okay, well clearly there's something wrong with your memory because I told you to take out the trash. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, I don't know why you're getting so upset. I'm not upset. Okay, well, there's no need to have an attitude with me. I'm just trying to make sure that you're being responsible, which you're not. Mom, I'm not upset. I don't know why I'm always the bad guy. Because you're angry at me over something that's not even true. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. Your attitude is starting to affect this entire household. Oh, what are you doing here? I live here. I have a date tonight. Okay. Okay, so I, I need you to get out of this house. You can't be here. I told you this. You didn't tell me that, and it's a Thursday night. Well, you need to go stay at your father's. I mean, it's kind of last minute. I can't just- This is my house, and I can't have you here. I told you this so many times. You were constantly in the way. I need you to go. I just go in my room and shut the door. No, just knowing that you're here is going to ruin the whole evening. You need to go. Then how about you guys go to his place? Excuse me, I am entitled to privacy in my own home. Okay, but if you had told me that you needed me out of the house tonight, I could have made plans. It's just like really late at this point. It's oh, well, every other night you're always out and about. You always have plans, but tonight you have to be in my face well what do you want me to do go sit in the car no i want you to take the car drive it somewhere and don't come back 
I would, but you took my keys last week because you told me you don't want me leaving. Well, I don't think you need to be out every night. Right, so that's why I'm home. You are intentionally trying to confuse me and it's pissing me off. I want you out. Fine. When am I allowed to come back? Oh, I'll let you know, but with that attitude, it might be a while. Okay, so you want me to leave with no idea where I'm going or how long I should pack for. You know, you're lucky I'm so patient. Most parents wouldn't put up with this. Oh, what a cute dog. Yeah, my husband got her for me about a week ago. That's so sweet. What's her name? Uh, refund, hopefully, because that's what I'm looking for. Oh, you're returning her? Yeah, I think there's something wrong with her. What do you mean? Well, she doesn't listen. <laughs> well, she is a puppy. I mean, she's an animal. She should know to go to the bathroom outside. Yeah, that is something they have to learn. But we do have puppy training classes. I mean, if they're free, that's fine, but I'm not paying any more for this dog. Well, I'm sorry it didn't work out. And I don't want any store credit either. I want it all in cash. Great, well, we'll make sure she finds her forever home. Okay, whatever. Do you have any cats? Nope. <laughs> you're a shelter, but you don't have cats? Not for you. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, it just means you're no longer allowed to adopt any animals from here. Excuse me? Well, it doesn't seem like you're ready for this kind of commitment and we wanna make sure our pet owners are ready to take on an animal and take care of them. Well, I've never seen a dog before that doesn't know how to sit or lie down. Have you ever adopted a dog as a puppy? No. And how did you think they learned appropriate behaviors? They just know them. No, no, you need to train them. Well, I'm not doing that. I know, that's why you're not adopting another animal. Hi, mom. Oh, hi. Where were you the first time I called? Well, I just got back to my car. I had a yoga class at the gym. You're really gonna rub that in my face? What? You know that I have a bad knee and I can't do yoga. Why would you even bring it up? Well, you... I, is there a reason you called? Do I need a reason? Your brother calls me every day. Yeah, and I come over every Sunday for dinner. Well, it's not because you want to see me. I know you only come over here to see the dog. Look, I've just been really busy with work. This is the best I can do. The best you can do is put your family last. Okay, but if I don't go to work, I can't help you pay your electricity every month. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm such a burden to you. I'm sorry that if they shut off my electricity, I'll probably die in this house and no one will know because my kids never call me. I don't know what you want me to say to that. <sighs> Hello? No, shh. I think there's someone breaking into my house. What? Um, okay, call the police. No, no, you need to get over here right away. I'm on the other side of town. It'll be way faster if you just- See? I knew you would do nothing. I knew you wouldn't care if my life was potentially in danger. Wait, what? What? Don't ever call me or anyone in the family for that matter. You called me. You know, if your father was here, he'd be so disappointed in you. Oh, you know what? I just drove into a lake. I know, I know, but hold on. Shh, shh, shh. Hey, babies, it's me, Kenzie K, and we're having a girls' night. Woo! Oh, we are downtown. Oh, and say hi to our server. Please don't film me. Oh, what the hell? You totally just messed that whole thing up. We have to start over. No, no, no. Sorry, no. I don't have time for whatever it is that you're doing. Did you want a table? Uh-oh. I guess I'll be using hashtag Karen in this video. Go right ahead. I'm just trying to do my job. Babies, we have an official Karen in the wild here who is refusing to serve me. That is incorrect. I'm just trying to do my job. Say something racist. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna ask you to move aside so I can help the people behind you. <laughs> Honey, as soon as I hit post on this video, your job is over. If only. Your Wi-Fi in here sucks. Yeah, well, this isn't Starbucks. Okay, are you gonna get us a table? I need to know how many people are in your party. Five, there's five of us. Can you not count? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God. <laughs> mm -hmm, that'll be a 20 minute wait. Oh, well, I don't know if you heard when I was coming in, but I'm Kenzie K from Instagram. Okay, was that the name you wanted me to put on the wait list? No, 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 I just mean I don't need to wait. <laughs> Why? I told you it wouldn't work. Shh, because I'm Kenzie K. Sorry, I'm not familiar with your work. No, that's that's literally like impossible because I'm all over the internet. So just Instagram. And I created an NFT. Neat. Your table will be ready in 20 minutes. <laughs> Did you hear? She's going to make us wait the 20 minutes. No, I hold on. Hold on. Story time, babies. I've been denied service just because. Welcome to this pizza shop. What can I get you? Um, do you have barbecue? Yep, we got two kinds actually. We have a chicken barbecue and then one with pork. Yeah, I'll take that one. Okay, which one? The barbecue. Oh, well there's two. Did you want both? <laughs> or did you want something else? How heavy is the pizza dough? You know, I'm not sure. Do you want me to ask? No, thank you. Okay, well how about I give you a little bit more time to figure out what you want? Pizza. Right, but which kind? Hot. Ready. Is that the Little Caesars slogan? What's my total? Well, you haven't ordered anything. I'll just take a BLT. I'm sorry, we don't have BLTs here. This is just a pizza shop. Hold the T and the B. I, so like a lettuce sandwich? Give me the total. I mean, I guess I could throw together a lettuce sandwich for like a dollar. That's fine, I guess. Um, can I get a name for the order? A what? I, I need a name for the order. Cheese pizza. 
Are you ordering or is that your name? No more questions. Cause that's just kind of confusing cause you didn't even order a cheese pizza. I have to go. Did you still want your lettuce sandwich? Maybe later. When? Let's see. Saturday at eight. It'll be really bad by then. Are you open? Yes, how are you? Okay, I need this returned. No problem, was there something wrong with it? It doesn't matter, I just need to return it. Oh, well I just have to mark if it was the wrong size, if it ripped, if it was defective. Oh my God, I'm telling you, I just need to return it. Okay, give me my money back on this piece of crap or else I am suing you. Okay. <sighs> My God, I feel like they'll just hire anyone these days. Do you even know what you're doing? Sure do. You can go ahead and put your card in. Excuse me, I know how to do a return. You don't need to tell me what to do. Okay. <laughs> what happened to this store? I don't know why they would hire hire someone like you and you don't know what you're doing. This is just bad on the business. Mm, well, if you're gonna talk to me like that, I'm not going to help you. Okay, just do the return. No, I don't like the way you're speaking to me, so I don't have to put up with your verbal abuse. Oh, you come, I'm working on my anger. Okay, it's fine, let's just, let's just do this. Yeah, you can work on your anger outside of my store. Just return it. No. Uh Merry Christmas. What are you doing? Eating cinnamon toast popcorn. Is that part of your diet? I am not on a diet. But you know I'm on a diet. How am I disrespecting your diet? Because you're sitting here eating all this sugar in front of me that you know I can't have. I'm not eating it in front of you. That's why I came in my room and shut the door. Well, I really don't think you need to be eating those things. Why? I just told you I'm not on a diet. Okay, well... Maybe you should be. What is that supposed to mean? Did you see your yearbook photo? You know, I'm happy with the way that I look. So. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're happy because the rest of us still have to look at you. <laughs> Mom, what did you come in here for? Oh, well, I was going to see if you wanted to watch a movie. Oh, okay. No, thank you. What? Why not? Because you just made me feel really insecure and I don't want to watch a movie with you. Oh, come on. I'm sorry that I said something and you got upset. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we're good. Let's go watch the movie. I just said no. So you won't accept my apology? No, I accept your apology and thank you for it. It's just I'm not over it. <laughs> wow, so that just goes to show how mature you are. I'm the one that was the bigger person and apologized for something that I didn't even do and you can't even accept that? Could you shut the door on the way out? Why? So you can just stuff face with popcorn? Yes. Bathroom? Oh no, I'm just gonna get some more. You're gonna get some more what? You already ate so much. Well, I'm still hungry. Wow, well, make sure you leave some for the rest of us, little piggy. You know, that's really rude. Honey, you already had seconds. Do you really need more? Yes, why is that? You made a ton of food. <laughs> Can I not eat it? Well, we talked about this. Sometimes you just gotta have some self-control. <sighs> okay, whatever. <sighs> Can you not? It's not like I commented on the amount of times you refilled that wine glass. Uh, you know what? There's no need to be aggressive. Okay, this is the holidays. We don't need to start something and attack each other, okay? Okay, then let me eat in peace. Well, I, I think I speak for everybody when I say that we don't want to sit here and wait for you to finish your third plate. Then don't. It just makes me sad to think about all the children in the world that don't have food because you're eating it all. That's not, th no. I mean, the holiday card, your cheeks were a little, do you really want to go into the new year like that? Yes. Do you have a food addiction? Why is this door closed? No, I think if you were showing maturity and responsibility, you could keep this open so we could all see what you're doing. But the fact that you're hiding tells me that there are secrets. You know, I don't, I don't think you deserve to have this. Let me get a drill. Just take me a second here. What did you do to this door? Why won't it come off? What's so funny? You know, I think if you wanted to do something productive, you could read a book right now, okay? Jimothy, I think she's done something to the door. I can't get it off. Well, because I want to take it off. Because. It's a little rusty. Could use some sanitizer. I don't know what new trend you have found where the door doesn't come off, but I'm talking to your father. Can you come out here, please? Your Aunt Julie's here. She's always hiding. That's okay. Oh, hey, Aunt Julie, I didn't know you were here. Oh, well, she was probably avoiding you. She didn't want to have to hear all your drama. <laughs> oh, stop, stop. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ignore that. Uh oh, look, she's already mad at me. <laughs> what did I do? She always gets so mad, she's so emotional. I need to get her into a therapist. Oh, a therapist? Well, yeah, I'm concerned. What's wrong with you? Oh, okay, that's funny, because when I asked to see a therapist, you said you don't believe in therapy, so... Oh, I never said that. Oh, you never said that? Okay, well then let's go to therapy together. Well, I'm not the one that needs therapy. Oh, you don't need therapy, because the reason I need therapy is because you need therapy but won't get it. Uh, ex hold on. And just for the record, the only drama in my life is you. Look, I try to be nice to her and she literally attacks me. Oh my gosh. Why don't we all just play a game of spoons? And Julie, for the love of God, just drink your wine. Okay, you know what? You've officially lost it. You are out of control. We're your family and you're actually lashing out at us for wanting to what, talk to you? Familiar? 
Do you hear this? This is why we've gone through an entire eight bottles of wine. And this is why I have crippling anxiety, depression, and diminished self-esteem. So thanks. We just got little jackets for our cows, so. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Hi. What? Hi, sorry, you're uh, sitting in my seat. <laughs> it doesn't have your name on it. I mean, it kind of does. It's on my ticket for this seat. Okay, well, no one was sitting here, so. Right, because I got up to go to the bathroom, <laughs> but this is my seat. I think there's an empty one over there. I don't care. I paid for first class, so I kind of want to sit in my first class seat. I've been sitting here this whole time. Okay, you're literally sitting next to my husband. Well, how am I supposed to know he's your husband? He's sleeping. I don't see how that matters. Ma'am, would you mind taking your seat? We can't have the walkways blocked. Yeah, go back to your seat. I don't know who this woman is, but she just decided that she's gonna sit here, so I need her to move. Ugh, it doesn't matter where you sit. We're going to the same destination. If it doesn't matter, then go back to your seat. Ma'am, can I see your ticket? I'm not able to do that. My ticket was set on fire. Okay, well, I have my ticket, and it says that I'm in this seat. Okay, ma'am, I'm gonna need you to get up. No, 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 you can't just ask a stranger to do physical activities. You don't even know. I, I'm sore from Pilates and I have to rest, okay? Then how did you get from your seat to mine? Um, newsflash, there's something called delayed soreness from Pilates and I have that now. Ma'am, I will call security. Good, good, I want them to come. I want them to see what's happening here, that someone is forcing another individual who can't stand to stand. If you go back to your seat, I'll get you an ice cream sandwich. Well, I'll... Have you know that that is a, a great compromise. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. No problem. She's not getting that ice cream sandwich. Oh good, mom, you're home. Jeez, so loud all the time. Can I just have like a second? Oh, well, I just wanted to let you know that I made dinner. Why? Because I know you were getting home late today, so I just figured I could help out and that's a first. Okay, well, dinner's ready whenever you want to eat. Okay, I just walked in the door. Can I have like two seconds to breathe before you force me to try that food? Sorry. Nothing can ever be done in this house without me. What, you have nothing to say? You asked me to give you space. All I've ever asked for is just basic respect. I had to raise you. Okay. So don't you think that's a lot more work than just making one meal? Yes, but I just want to be appreciated by my kid. I know, that's why I made dinner. Yeah, in my kitchen with my food that I'm gonna probably have to clean up now. Okay, well, if you don't want it, then you're gonna try to make me feel bad now? Thanks, I, I can see that it's overcooked from here. You know I can't eat that. You know, next time just ask me to do it because all you've done here is make a mess of my kitchen. I literally worked all day. I shouldn't have to be dealing with this. All right, I'll clean up. Can you stop trying to make me feel like a terrible mother? Can you hold on for just one second? What is that? I don't know, some lady keeps honking out front and screaming at everyone that walks by. In front of our restaurant? Yeah, she tried to flag me down when I walked in, but I get anxiety when people scream at me, so I just ignored her. Well, someone should say something. <sighs> yeah. Not me though, because I gotta do something over here, so you'll have to do it, but I... Fine. Wow, can we not? Please tell me you're not another waitress coming out here without my food! I don't know what that means. Are you trying to pick up an order? Why in the bloody hell else do you think that I'm here right now? Actually, I'm sorry, we don't have curbside pickup, so you would have to park the car and then go inside the restaurant. Excuse me, are you insinuating that I don't have a sprained ankle? No, I don't know. I'm just saying that we don't automatically bring the food out to the car. So if you needed additional assistance, you could have called us. Can we just stop? This isn't a solution. This isn't getting you anywhere. Let's just, enough. No, because if you don't have my food, then I have no reason to speak to you. You have proven that you are no use to me. So get away from my car or I will call the cops. Okay, well, your food is hot inside the restaurant. So whenever you want to come and get it. Excuse me, I need a new waitress. <sighs> Dude, she's still beeping. Yeah, so you know what that means. Yeah. Attention everyone, we apologize for the noise, but we are going to fix it by turning the music up really, really loud. So expect some really loud Michael Bolton. Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe it's just me, but I feel like our server is glaring at us. What? No. Yeah, I mean, look. Hmm, maybe she just has a lazy eye or something. Yeah, maybe. Can I help you? What? Do you know what you want to order? Oh, um, yeah, sorry, I, uh, yeah, can I get the- Gentlemen first. Go ahead, sir. Uh, you know what I like. Okay. I'll get the- Pepper or whipped cream? Mmm, both. Okay, but don't put too much hot sauce this time. I don't want you stinking up my bathroom again. And I'll get the- Just be quiet and eat your soup. Mm -mm. Do you know her or something? Because it really seemed like- Who? The server. Oh. No. Well, kind of. She's my wife. <laughs> what? All right, hun, here you go. Looks great this time, babe. Um, here. Um, 
What is this? What do you think it is? Looks like a dead crow. Mm, well, that's what you ordered. I didn't order anything. All right, all right. Let's just calm down. I totally get it if you want to end the date. Well, this isn't much of a date if he's married to the server. Come on, sweetheart. I'll drive you home. No, no, no. It's I'm a... talking to my wife. I'll go ahead and leave Miss Independent with the bill. What? <laughs> Wait. Can I get a triple vodka, please? Thank you. Hey, Janelle, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it in again today. I'm still so sick. Oh, no, I hope you feel better. Yeah, thank you. Oh, uh-oh. Wait a minute. It looks like you don't have any sick time saved up. Uh, that's fine. It's whatever. I'll just take the loss then. Well, in the future, we want to try and not use up all of our sick time because it does look bad on the company. I can't help how many times I get sick. No, I know. I know. I totally understand. And I hope you feel so much better. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Oh, and also, um, next time you come in, I will need you to bring a doctor's note. Really? You can't hear that I'm sick? Oh, no, I can't. It's just look at company policy that if you're out more than two days, you will just need to bring in proof. Oh, uh, well, I wasn't going to go to the doctor. I caught it from my sister. So I already know what it is. I just got to get through it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, maybe you can just come in for a couple hours today. No. Ugh, then I'm gonna have to write you up. I feel better. Uh, excuse me, Miss Cornucopia. I have a question. Miss Cornucopia. Uh, uh, excuse me, ladies. I shouldn't be able to hear you up here. What should you be working on? Okay, if you have a question, what are you supposed to do? Thank you. Yes. I just wanted to ask excuse you. Me? I just wanted to ask you a question. Okay, and what is my procedure if we have a question? Coming up to my desk is not an option. I'm working on students' papers right here and you cannot be looking over my shoulder. Please go have a seat. We are five months into the semester. We should already know what my procedure is if we have a question. Can someone raise their hand quietly and remind my friend here what we're supposed to do if we have a question during classwork? Yep, Chelsea, go ahead. Raise your hand. Did you hear that? I should not have to be reminding you what we need to be doing to get our work done in class. Not at this point in the year. You need to go sit down and have a seat and raise your hand quietly or else I cannot help you. Okay, but no, I- No, I can't help you unless you are in your seat. Thank you. Yes, you have a question? Yeah, when do- Shh. We have others that are working. Please use your inside voice when asking a question. When do we turn Just in- Come here, please. I, I can't hear you. Excuse me, are you Billiam's teacher? Okay, we need to have a little discussion. I'm just curious where you think that it's okay to teach children, children about gay rights. I know that it is happening from this classroom because my son came home and was so excited to tell me that he was a homo sapien. No, 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 no. My son is a hetero sapien. No, no, science is not an excuse because when I pull out my phone and I look up homo sapien, it... Okay, hold on, maybe I spelled it wrong. It just says human. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter because my son will not be doing your assignment that says anything with the word homo on it. Excuse me, you're telling me if my son doesn't complete your woke assignment that you're going to fail him in science? That makes no sense to me. My son will not be discriminated against for being a heterosapien. It's on the curriculum? <laughs> well, not for much longer. Science isn't gonna be around for much longer. The woke will be put to sleep, let me let me tell you that. No, that isn't a threat. You know what, I think the news will love to hear about how my eight-year-old son is a homo sapien, okay? I'm on hold. <laughs> hey. Hey, what are you doing here? I don't know, I'm hungry. Oh, okay. Oh good, y'all finally went shopping. Watch. I told you I don't like whole milk. Oh good, my package just got here. Why are we watching this? You guys don't have my birthday written on your calendar. Oh, got the last one. <laughs> what is she doing? I found your glasses. Can you go get me Starbucks? No. Better. I'm probably just gonna take a nap for the next like four days. In my bed? <sighs> take my picture. Why don't you guys have any good food in here? Can you go get the good shampoo from your mom's bathroom? I need you to drive me to Target, so let's go. I'm gonna borrow your white shirt. Ma! Why isn't she answering? Because it's not your mom. I'm borrowing this. I got your rat out. I hope that's okay. Ew! What? You know I'm not gross. We share food all the time. Tell your brother to stop staring at me. <coughs> oh, my boyfriend's going to be here in like two minutes. Whose dishes? Sam! What? Are these your dirty plates out here? No. Go get your sister. Okay. Can't believe it's that hard for you guys to clean up after yourselves. It's disgusting. Haley! What? Can you clean up your plates, please? Those aren't mine. Oh, okay, so they're nobody's. Nobody in this house has any idea where they came from. Hmm, okay, well maybe we have a ghost or maybe somebody broke in here and left all their dirty dishes in my kitchen. I don't know what to tell you, mom. Come on, whoever did it needs to clean it up. Cool, bye. Uh, excuse me. 
What? You said I didn't have to do it. Well, someone needs to do it. Well, it's not mine, so I'm not cleaning it. Great, so nobody can be honest in this house? Mom, I didn't even eat dinner here last night. I went out to dinner with my boyfriend. Okay, so it was you. No, dad got me McDonald's on the way home, so I didn't even have a plate. Uh, so again, this just magically appeared here. I mean, weren't you the only one who had dinner in this house last night? Okay, so then wouldn't it, yeah, wouldn't it be yours? Oh, I, I could have sworn I cleaned this up. Maybe I got distracted. I did have the four glasses of wine. Maybe that did it. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, it wouldn't hurt for you to clean up around the house and pick up things that aren't yours every once in a while. Oh, then do you want to help me clean my room? No, that's your responsibility. Yeah, can you explain to me why this item is listed as a different price on your website? Oh yeah, that is weird. Sorry about that. If you pull it up on the website, I'll be able to match the price. I mean, I'm not sure where on the website it was. I just saw it. Yeah, no worries. Take your time. Just kind of seems like false advertisement if you have things listed as two different prices. Oh, I know. It's so frustrating when corporate changes things and they don't tell us and then people get confused and we're just like, uh. so yeah, if you're able to pull it up, I can definitely change it. Well, don't you realize that's just going to drive away your most loyal customers? Because I don't want to buy this if it's confusing. Okay, so did you not want it? No, I want it. I just want it for the price online. Were you able to find it? No, my phone won't connect to your cheap ass Wi-Fi, so I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I'm not sure what to tell you either. Can I just purchase this? Of course, I'll just need to scan it. But I want it for the price online. Okay, this is coming up as $16.99. Outrageous. My Wi-Fi seems to be working just fine, so I'll see if I can find it. You don't know the prices of your own items? I mean, I don't set the prices, and as you can see, they change all the time. Wow, this business seems unstable. Okay, and you wanted the online price? Yes, didn't I say that like a hundred times? Okay, your total is eighteen twenty three. No, you charged me the wrong price. N nope, it's listed on the website as seventeen ninety nine. Okay, yeah, our, our in store price is sixteen ninety nine, but the one you wanted is a dollar more. What? My thoughts exactly. All right, put it on my debit. Okay. Linda, party of two. Oh, that was quick. You can follow me right this way. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. We didn't want to sit over here. What do you mean? I just prefer to sit by a window with a view. Oh, well, it looks like all of our window seats are currently taken. Oh, that's okay. I'll wait. I just can't guarantee how long of a wait it'll be. That's no problem. I'll just call you when one opens up. Great, and how long will that be? Again, I'm really not sure. Which is like ballpark, like five, 10 minutes. Uh, honestly, it could be anywhere between 10 minutes to an hour. I'm not really sure. Okay, because I've already been waiting, so I just don't want to wait too much longer. Well, I'd be happy to sit you right now. It just wouldn't be at a window seat. No, no. Okay, so then I'll call you when a window table opens up. <laughs> okay, well, kind of thought I'd be eating by now. Hmm, ring-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. Thanks for calling this restaurant. How can I help you? Excuse me. Yes, we're open till 11 tonight. One moment. Only one more moment until my window table is ready? Perfect. Yeah, that should be no problem. Well, that's very polite of you. See you then. What? I believe it's been one minute. I was on the phone. That wasn't about you, but I can see you anywhere else. If I sit somewhere else, how will I see the birds? I don't know. I only sit by the birds. But you aren't looking at the birds right now. Trust me. I know. Well, you seem fine. Come on, Quarantina, we're leaving. That was really weird. Hi there. Sorry about that. How oh, it's I okay. There's you? two of us. Party of two? Okay. Yep. Um, any chance you'd want to sit by a window? I just had uh, a seat yeah, open up. Yeah, sure. Perfect. I think I just saw a window seat open up. Oh. Yeah, no, sorry. I just sat someone there. But, but I've been waiting. Yeah, but then you left. 25% off the entire store. What a bargain. Let's go. I was thinking we could find you some new jeans or something. Oh, we're just looking. Oh, oh, it's a sweater. Oh, this is kind of cute. Oh my gosh. You would have loved these as a kid. They have your size. <laughs> oh, come on. You're no fun. How much are they? How's it going? Okay, and then take off the 25%, so that would be 30? Oh, I like that. You should try that on. I think dressing rooms are over here, so maybe we can find someone to help us. Excuse me. I'll just wait right out here. Oh, what's that? I found you some pants. I'm gonna throw them over, okay? Try those on and let me know how they fit. Come out and let me see. Actually, I'm gonna go get you another size just in case. They didn't have any more sizes. Which one are you in again? Oh, okay. Come on out. Let me see how they fit. Turn around. Oh, okay. I like those. They're a little big around the waist. Let me let me see. Yeah, but maybe we can get you a belt. What are these? Are they? They're dinosaurs. Why did they have cute stuff like this when I was your age? Hun, you ready to check out? I got the girl right here. She's ready for us. Come over here. Uh, no, no membership. I guess you want money too. I guess I gotta pay. <laughs> oh, actually, you know, I got a coupon from last Christmas somewhere. That should take it down a little bit. <laughs> okay, now don't tell dad. Hi, are you still coming to Aunt Lucy's baby shower this weekend? Yup. Wait, this weekend? I thought it was next weekend. Oh, it was, but then she changed it to this weekend. What? No, I can't do this weekend. Why not? It's your aunt's baby shower. No, I know. I just, I have tickets to see a concert in Miami this weekend. 
And what am I supposed to tell everyone? Nothing, I'll just, I'll call her and I'll explain everything. All right, fine. You just do what makes you happy. If I could do both, I would. I just can't be in two places at once. No, I know, but once again, you're just choosing yourself over your family, but no big deal. I think she'll understand that if you change your date last second, some people can't show up. Well, I'm still able to show up and I had to cancel my hair appointment. That's different. You're, you're not losing money. I'm gonna lose plane tickets and concert ticket money. Okay. I hope you have a good time. Well, it'll be difficult because everyone will be asking where you are. Then just tell them or change the subject. Oh, it's just a little embarrassing that my daughter can't show up for a family event, but you just do what you want to do. It's fine. Doesn't sound fine. I just hope one day you make time to see your family because we miss you. Can you stop just subtly hinting that you're disappointed? If you're upset, just tell me. Stop saying it's fine. No, it is. It's fine. No big deal. Great. So I'll talk to you later. I don't know if you'll have time later. It seems like you're very busy. You know what? I am busy. Forever and ever. I'll never be free again. And how long's the wait? Uh, about 15 minutes. Okay, yeah, no problem. We have time to kill. Perfect. <laughs> Just a few more minutes, baby. Just a few more minutes. I know it's a long wait. Excuse me, how much longer? Uh, excuse me, do you know how much longer? No, I don't. Hey folks, welcome in. Do you want to eat inside uh, or outside? I don't think it matters. Do you care? I don't care. No, we'll sit anywhere. Great, your table's right here. Oh, perfect, but um... You know, actually, I think we'd rather sit outside. Okay. You know, it's actually a bit windy out here. Uh, we'll take that table inside again. <laughs> Hi there. Welcome in. How are you this evening? Two of us? Okay, that'll be 30 minutes. <laughs> it's 3 o'clock on a Wednesday. There's tables everywhere. I see them all around open. We can't just sit right there. No. Y'all got fish and chips? Uh, no. Peace. Okay. Reservation for Miller. Okay, party of two? Yes, that's us. Awesome. Uh, actually, though, we've added a few more people. How many? Uh, just, uh, we have 12. Um, <laughs> but a few of them probably won't eat, and you can just squeeze them in on the sides. No, it's really okay. It's just a few more people. Uh, did you want a table? Oh, oh. Hey, I'm just gonna catch the last few minutes of the game in the bar. No, no, actually, we're closed. Oh, don't worry. It's all right. I won't order then. <laughs> it's all right. Well, Let's we're go. trying to clean up in here, uh, so... You can just clean around me. It's fine. I just, you won't even know no, I'm here. No, sir. I got the door. Don't worry. Oh, thank you. Hi, welcome in. Hello, party of three. <laughs> wow. Did you say something? Oh, I just thought it was rude that you cut in front of me like that, but no worries. What do you mean? Well, you see, normally if someone holds the door open for you, you're supposed to let them pass you inside. You don't skip ahead, but you do you. Okay, you did me a favor and I appreciated it. I'm sensing an issue? Yes, you know, I was here first. Just because I decided to do someone a favor doesn't mean I should be punished and have to go to the back of this line. This is ridiculous. Oh, there's no wait. I can sit both of you now. I did not cut you in line. You allowed me to pass you. Okay, now there's a line forming behind you. Can, can we not? I don't know who raised you, but they did you wrong. Don't talk about my mother. Are you two in line? Apparently not, because if it was a line, the person in front would go first. Seriously, you need to let it go. Okay, well, I'm hungry and I want to eat, so can I have a table? Yes, please come this way. Oh, wait a second, excuse me. Did she seriously just skip the line? Well, you guys were just standing there. You could have asked. I did. You know what? How about everyone just go off the table and just do whatever you want. Just sit wherever you want, because I'm not here. Whoa. Your emotional response is so irrational. Yeah, seriously, who raised you? I, okay. All right, you have a nice day. Uh-oh, is everything good? Uh, yeah, do you mind if I take this phone call? It's kind of an emergency. Oh yeah, of course, just step outside, I got this. Awesome, thank you. Hey, is everything okay? Well, I'm at work, but I can come get you if you need me. No, 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 it's okay. If you're sick, I'd rather you come home. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, hold on. Hi, yes. I'm waiting. For what? I need help finding a product. Oh, oh yeah, no, if you just go right inside the store, someone will be able to help you. Okay, but you have a store name tag on. You can't help me? I, uh, no. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, excuse me. Hi, yes, how can I help you? Oh, well, I was just curious what your phone policy is here because it's very inappropriate to have employees on the phone in front of customers. Oh, well, we don't have our phones out while we're working. Oh, well, tell that to the girl up front who's greeting customers on her phone. Oh, no, she's just taking an emergency phone call. That's totally separate. Okay, but she's at work. Yes. Well, it makes me uncomfortable shopping here knowing people have other obligations. Okay, well, I'm happy to help you. I don't understand why she can't help me. Because she's on a break right now. Well, as a customer, seeing someone on the phone makes me not want to give you a dime. Okay, well, I'm not on the phone. Hey, I'm really sorry. My little brother's sick. I have to go pick him up from school. Okay, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Guess if you're employed here, you don't have to work. Ma'am, are you gonna buy something? No, I think I want a job here. I can just be on my phone. I don't have to work. It's like a circus. What a playground this is. Jeez. What the heck? for me to 
meet the teacher? Um, yeah. Great, well hi, my name is Caitlin and this is my daughter, Shelby. Shelbo? Uh, no, no, Shelby. Is there a different name I could call her? Uh, well, we usually just call her Shelly. Okay, Shetty. <laughs> How long have you been teaching? Uh, I'd say give or take about eight. Wow, eight years? Minutes. Oh, okay, so this is your first year teaching. Your questions are really stressing me out. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get an understanding of who's gonna be with my daughter all year. Unfortunately, I will be transferring her out of my classroom. What? Why? Because of the stress. Stress? She hasn't even done anything. The stress is making my hair fall out. Oh my god. Unfortunately, I'll have to be getting a hair appointment. Yeah, I, I would do that. I accept check or Venmo. Not Venmo. For what? The stress. I, I'm not paying for you to get your hair done. The appointment's on Saturday. Be there, be square, I don't care. Uh, Shelby, let's uh, go speak to the principal. He is fired. But why? Too much stress. Okay, then are you in charge? I'm unavailable. I'll just homeschool you. Excuse me, I am speaking with a parent right now, which means you should be in your seat. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I am just ready for the weekend. Anyway, are you Kyle's mom? Can't even imagine what that kid is like at home. I, I only have him for a couple hours and I'm already like sweating by the end of the day. He is a lot, isn't he? And that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about because I'm in here by myself. Okay, I don't have four other teachers that are able to come in and help me. And unfortunately, Kyle requires so much of my attention that it's it's kind of frustrating. He's just always out of his seat. He's talking, he's touching, he's... Ugh, he's just so frustrating to, to work with. So I just wasn't sure maybe he's been to the doctor recently to get a, a diagnosis. Cause he's got something. Like some hyper disorder or something. He, he needs to be on medication. I don't think he should really be in the classroom without medication. Have you heard of Adderall? As an instructor, I do not have time to teach behavior. He can't have special treatment just cause he's got issues. It is very unlikely that he'll be successful in the classroom without the medication. Hey, hey. Did you need something? Why aren't you at work? Oh, I got the night off so I could do some homework. What? No, no, no! I thought you were working a double! Yes, and then I took it off to do homework. <laughs> okay, well, can I borrow $50? I don't have an extra $50. Exactly! That's why you should be at work! Why aren't you at work? Excuse me? That's none of your business. Okay, well, I don't have $50. Let me see your wallet. Why? Because I don't believe you. Okay, I have money, but I don't have money to give to you. But I'm your mother. I know, that's why I paid our rent last week. Yes, because when you're living in my house and you make money, I get to decide where that money goes. That makes me want to quit. Okay, do you think I want to spend my money on bills? No. So You're lucky I don't make you pay the water bill. Most kids would be grateful. Okay, can we just talk about this when I'm done with my homework? No, I need $50. Okay, well, ask Lauren. No, I shouldn't have to ask everyone in the house just for some money. Okay, what if I give you $20? What do you even need this money for anyway? Nothing. Excuse me? Uh-uh. No, you need honest with me if you're living under my house or else you can go sleep in the trash. I have a date and I want to just be able to pay for it. <laughs> That's adorable. So you get to go out with your friends, but when I want to just spend some time with mine, I can't even get $50. I said I'd give you 20. You know what? You're the reason that we're in this situation. You are the reason that I am a mother that has to come to their own, their children to ask for money. Do you know how embarrassing that is? And you deny me? That is just... <laughs> okay, just take it. Make it 60. Where did you get that? On the shelf. Well, I just looked and there aren't any left. Oh yeah, I think I got the last one. And you didn't think to ask if anyone else might want it? Um, no. Well, that's kind of selfish, don't you think? No, because I was looking for that exact item. Mm, so was I. And I'm not able to wait till they restock. Yikes, sorry to hear that. Bye. Find everything okay? Yes. Excuse me, are there any more of these items? I'm not sure, I'll have to check. Well, would you mind waiting? Cause I kinda wanna know before she buys the last one. I don't understand. Excuse me, I'd simply like to know your opinion on who you think should get the last one. <sighs> who had it first? Uh, well, this has been on my to-do list for weeks. But who had it first? Well, if your parking situation had been better, I would've. Yeah, so it sounds like she got it first. Technically. So did you still want my opinion? Only if it's the right opinion. Great, then have a nice day. Uh-uh, I knew you were gonna try and do that. No! <laughs> do what? Bro, so embarrassing. Just go, please. Who, me? Hi, are you with DoorDash? Um, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Where's the food? At the restaurant. Okay, um, why? Food comes from a restaurant, everyone knows that. Okay, I'm confused. Why did you come here if you don't have my food? 
because I'm not able to pick it up. Okay, why not? Unfortunately, my schedule's changed, so I'm not available anymore. Okay, well, can't you just take yourself off the order so someone else can pick it up? No, because then I won't get paid. Yeah, that's kind of what happens when you don't do your job, aka deliver food. <sighs> what did you order? It should tell you on the app. It doesn't look like the app is available. Then how did you even know to come here? Because you ordered food. Right, which you don't have, so why are you here? How much longer? For what? Until you cancel the order. I'm not gonna cancel the order. I really want my Tijuana Flats. Well, it's closed. No, it's not. It's Tijuana Tuesdays. Oh. So can you go get it, please? I probably wouldn't be able to get it until 8. 8 tonight? A.M. Why would I want tacos at 8 a.m.? Breakfast. No, you know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna call the restaurant. You can have your food whenever you pay me. Do you even have my food? Yeah. What are you doing? Can I have it? I'm actually sorry, no. Okay, this has been weird and disturbingly creepy and I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually gonna go report you right now. Okay. You don't care? Well, I'm not on the app, so you won't find me there. Then who's your manager? Who do you work for? I have your food, hot and ready. Why are you handing me cold homemade pasta in a bowl? I want tacos. Sounds like a personal problem. What? How can I help you? I'm picking up a to-go order. Sure, what was the name? Uh, Mississippi. Oh, no, no, your name? Yes, that's, uh, my name is Sippy. I go by Mrs. Sippy. Oh, uh, my bad. I'll, I'll get your order. <laughs> you do that. Okay, so we got a veggie pizza and a cheese pizza. Great, everything looks perfect. Cool, and it looks like you paid online, so you're good to go. Have a nice day. Perfect, thank you so much. And Caroline, ring, make sure you go on break ring, when she gets back. Hi, thank you for calling the restaurant I work at. How can I help you? Hi, I was just at your restaurant and I picked up a to-go order. Okay. I don't know what you did to this order, but it's completely wrong. It's burnt, it's undercooked, it's wet. I need a refund. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What was the name? Mississippi. Oh, yes, I was the one that helped you. There was something wrong with the order? Yes, as soon as we took it home and opened the box, it was completely destroyed. Wow, yeah, that is unfortunate and odd because when you left the store, we had confirmed that everything was okay with the order. No, I was never shown the order. Uh, well, not only do I remember showing you the pizza, but it's protocol, so I wouldn't have even let you leave without showing it to you. Look, I accept your apology. I would just like a refund now. Well, is there any way you can show me the pizza because there's- Wait, wait, are you asking me to come all the way back to your restaurant to prove to you that you messed up my order? Yes, because when you left the restaurant, everything was fine with the order, according to you. Mm, incorrect. I've been coming to your restaurant for seven years, and I've never once been shown an order. Uh, are you sure you're talking to the right restaurant? Because we only opened six months ago. Enough of this. Just refund my card. No, I'm sorry, I can't do that. The best I can do is give you a few coupons. What am I supposed to do with that? Whatever the coupon offers, sometimes it's a percentage off, sometimes it's- But that would mean I'd have to go back to your restaurant. Correct. Well, I'm not doing that. I'm never going back to that restaurant. Okay, was there anything else I could help you with? Yes, you know, I want to speak to your manager. No. What? Oh, I said no, he doesn't want to talk to you. Okay, little girl, if you don't cut the attitude, I'm gonna drive all the way up there and address this in person. Oh, wonderful, then I'll see you soon. Who was that? Mississippi. What? It's just, uh, I don't know. Oh, and did you need a box for that? Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, she'll take the box. What? If I'm paying for that meal, you're gonna eat all of it. Oh, it's just that salads don't really do well to go. Well, then you shouldn't have ordered a salad to go. I didn't. So box or no box? Box, bring a box, bring like six boxes. Why would you need six boxes? Six, bring me six boxes. Oh my God. Okay, what is going on? I thought we were having a good night. What? I, we are. I just, I don't like when my money gets wasted. If it's that big of a deal, I'll just pay you back. It's not a big deal. Seriously. No worries. Okay. Did you still want to see a movie after this? I don't know. Are you going to make me buy you popcorn and then not eat it? Excuse me? Or how about I take you shopping and then everything we buy we'll just leave at the store? Uh, okay. I'm sorry if I offended you. I just don't want soggy salad to go. Here are your six boxes. Six is a ridiculous number. We only need one. <laughs> Thought so. Actually, you know what? Don't even bother. It's not like she's gonna eat it. That was no secret. Should I just come back? Just take the salad off the check. I, I can't do that. She didn't even eat it. Yes, I did. There's like four pieces of lettuce left. Then why can't you just finish it? Because now that you're demanding it, it's making me very uncomfortable and very resistant. Resistant? Okay, look, I'm just gonna say this right now. I'm not comfortable going on another date with you. Okay. So, don't call me. Wasn't gonna. This has been uncomfortable. Great. So were you still gonna pay me back? No. Bye mom, see you later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Remember I'm getting dinner with my friends tonight? 
You never told me that. Yes, I did. We talked about it this morning. Okay, seriously? Seriously, when was the last time you went to see a doctor? Because I genuinely think there's something wrong with your head. You're always coming up with these situations. I think we need to schedule something. Okay, okay then I'm letting you know now that I'm going out with my friends, so. Wearing that? What's wrong with it? <laughs> I mean, how much are you charging on your street corner tonight? I just can't imagine anyone that would want to be seen with you. What are you doing with your hair? What? Seriously, it breaks my heart to see you try and do these things without my help. Next time you can come to me and I'll help you, okay? Great, thanks, bye. But why are you rushing away from me? Am I that bad? You're being rude. I'm being rude? You're the one that's running out the door. Because you're making fun of me. Ugh, okay, seriously, you can't take a joke. It doesn't sound like a joke when you're saying it so seriously. How are you this sensitive? Everyone else in the family can take a joke, but you take it so personally. I don't, I don't understand how you got so insecure. I wonder. Like, seriously about that doctor's appointment, because your brain is just fried. Wait, this is what I'm talking about. You always do this. You always try to make me feel like there's something wrong with me when I tell you how I feel. <sighs> okay, fine. What? I thought you were going to say something. You're crazy. <laughs> Ew, what are you doing? Crystal, shut up. I'm doing a live. Just be quiet for like five minutes. I just wanted to wait for a few more people to get in here before we started. <sighs> So I just got off my flight and I opened my phone and I had a flood of comments from you guys that were just super negative about my last video. So I really just wanted to jump on here so we could address it. My management team begged me not to say anything. They told me not to get on live here. They told me to just ignore it, but that's not how I fly, okay? And you guys know that. A lot of you are upset because I was promoting vapes in my last video. You're so pretty. Oh, thank you so much. I actually have a new cleanser that's dropping tomorrow. Let's get one thing straight. This is not a vape. This is an organic puffer. Obviously, you guys didn't go to the website because you would have seen that it is all natural and organic. Now, yes, technically, vape does come out of this, but if you don't inhale it into your lungs, it won't be a problem. So I don't know why you guys are coming for me over this. Some of you were literally accusing me for being the cause of lung cancer. And number two, I wasn't trying to hide that it was an ad, okay? I'm not scared of anything, so why would I hide? I don't even understand that accusation. I don't have to tell you guys it's an ad. It should be obvious. Let me make one thing clear, okay? Because I'm not messing around i do not stand oh yeah i got my earrings from claire's actually i know they're so cheap and you know we're a family here so i know my real followers my babies aren't the ones making these comments and actually oh hey michelle girl what's up i can't believe you guys got so offended over something so stupid the internet is so sensitive lately and i'm just sick of it like i'm literally about to retire yeah no i'm no, I'm going to. Everyone's saying, no, don't leave. I'm going to leave because of people like you that make it hard for influencers to just be themselves. It's disgusting. You guys really need to get a life. Oh my God, hurry up. Girl, I'm coming. I'm coming. Seriously. And make sure you keep an eye out for my skincare routine, okay? Bye, babies. I love you.